All right, one. Hello, and welcome back to another episode of Take Two. Today, we're finishing up the game and completing our 100% walkthrough of Turnip Boy Robs a Bank. So, first up, talk to Dilatini. And provided you got the diamond out last time, you'll have enough money to buy the jet boosters, which is also going to finish a quest line achievement called Five Star Customer because we've bought everything off of the bank. All right. So, in order to finish up the game, we have to place boosters in the four corners of the bank. And I'll bet you can guess which four corners they need to be in, which means it's time for a good old-fashioned boss rush. So I'm just going to do them in order. But it doesn't matter, you can do them in whatever order you would like. Again, with the TK beta, it's extremely quick to kill these guys. Just kind of dash around. Look at that. He's just almost instantly dying. We've definitely... Ooh! We've definitely come a long way from uh, when it took us a couple minutes to kill him. He stands not a threat whatsoever. And there he goes. Now, as long as you place the booster on their throne... Even if you were to die to, say, Uncle Rigsby or uh, Mecha Chad, it's not actually going to matter. Because they will not respawn until you beat the game, essentially. So, next up, we're going to head through here. And time to go kill the candy apple again. Now, even without the scythe, it's not going to take any time at all to kill him. Alright, and he's going to slam down. And now we can just tear into him. There he goes. Alright, time to place the second launcher. Alrighty, here we go. Time to take on Chad again. So again, even with our our weapon, he goes down very quick. Whoop. And we're just going to dash around. And he didn't get a chance to fire off a single shot that time. Now, the good news is that he always does start his laser a little further away from you. So, if you're worried you're right next to him when it spawns, don't be too bad. Because he won't be, like, right on top of you when he does it. And just kind of serpentine maneuvers, and he's dead. GG. Alright. Alright, place the launcher, and then go get ready to fight the fourth one. Pick up a health pack. And here we go. And once again, we're just going to sit here and just absolutely destroy him. There we go. Again, it's easier if you shoot him from the front because he's a bigger target. Oh, we're out. Oh no, I grabbed it with the wrong weapon. Thankfully, one of the enemies was foolish enough to drop the best weapon in the game mid-boss fight, so we're going to pick this one up. There we go. Come on, and dead. That's officially all four of them gone. So in order to do this, you have to build the bridge first, and then you can walk on it to place the last booster. Don't make the mistake I did one time of accidentally uh, building the bridge and then just leaving, and I had to refight him again. Alright, now before we go over and do the uh, last portion of it, I'm actually going to run back and grab my SMG real quick, so hold on. Press the center console, and you'll get the greatest achievement name ever. See you later, Space Turnip. Now, this next part, 
is uh, very annoying. I'm not going to lie. Probably the worst part in the game. However, what we're going to do is... Skip all the dialogue. All right. We have to basically run and take out all the boosters again. So start off going down. Oops. Head over here. You also need to make sure that you clear the debris out of the way. We're going to head back over. Because some of the pathways are actually blocked off. Head over to do the green one. Head up. And basically just keep your finger on the uh, firing button to clear off all the ammo. Or clear off all the debris. Because as it said, you actually can't damage him. Now for the annoying part. We can't actually bypass uh, either one of the dark docks. So, we actually have to go through the whole area. This and the crypts. The good news is, is that Dark Docks is now just docks, so it's easier to see where we're going. Oh no. I just got hit by a bunch by that. So again, it's very easy to die here. And there's basically no health packs anymore. Press that, and we've only got one left to go. So we're going to head down. And again, just keep your finger on the firing. Ooh, that hurt. That was close. Alright, we're almost to a health pack. And the exit. Oh, thank god. We got the health pack. Ooh. Alright, and here's the last booster. Unfortunately, we're still not done. Because now we have to go all the way back through. Thankfully, the debris does not respawn. And if you've managed to kill any enemies, they will also not respawn. So it's pretty much just a straight shot back. Now you might be thinking to yourself, wait a minute, why don't you just go out the side door like you could when you finish beating Uncle Rigsby? And that's because the area is actually blocked. You can't actually go anywhere once you get to that point. So, whoops, don't do what I'm doing. From up here, we're going to go over and actually enter back in through the side courtyard. We don't actually have to go through the labs again. Press it, and we're finally going to get the achievement. But at what cost? Which is actually quite sad. And we get a new name. Once credits roll, provided you've been following this guide, when you come over to your mailbox, you should have that, this one, and that. And that'll be the last three hats you need, as well as the final quest. And you'll unlock the completionist and high fashion achievements, which will be the last two in the game. And now, congratulations, you've officially 100% the game. With summer starting soon, it's going to be time for the return of everyone's favorite series, Epic Games Dumpster Diving. And if you found this guide helpful at all, be sure to like and subscribe, as it really helps the channel out. Thanks so much for watching, everyone, and I'll see you guys next time.